Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today we're going to be playing the Community Royale Tournament, which is officially underway as of about an hour and a half ago, so it did just start. And it's very unique because Clash Royale actually did a poll on Twitter. It's the first time they've ever done something like this, I believe, for a Royal Tournament. So we have, as you can see on this banner, eight banned cards. We have the Lightning, Tornado, Cannon, Skeleton King, Archer Queen, Miner, Log, and Phoenix, and all of them are not allowed in this tournament. So it's going to be very interesting because there's definitely going to be a shake-up in the meta. I obviously do want to play with Expo, so I've made this Expo deck. I talked to Aragon, and I think this is going to be a pretty solid one, because I do think Royal Recruits are going to be very problematic in this format. Golden Knight, unfortunately, was not banned. It's actually still a very strong card right now. So I think Royal Recruits, you know, with Arrows, Barbarrel, or Fireball, Barbarrel, they have all the cards in that deck, so I feel like there could be a fair amount of recruits. Also, because Log is banned, we're probably going to be seeing a fair amount of Log bait for sure. So I do have the Skeletons and Fire Spirit any spirits are in here, but I feel like fire should be pretty solid because we can loot, do the fire spirit skeletons trick against a goblin barrel, and we obviously don't have the logs. So we have snowball. I feel like snowball is a pretty solid card. All things considered, I don't think barbell really makes too much sense in expo, so I feel like snowball is probably good because barbell doesn't do any direct tower damage, and I feel like the main value out of it is just so that you can get the barb that spawns afterwards, which I feel like doesn't really synergize well with expo. It's more for you know heavier decks like maybe. A graveyard as a graveyard tank, or sometimes Royal Giant, because you can do Barb Barrel, E Spirit, but even RG runs log these days, so I don't know, but uh, yeah, I feel like Snowball, Fireball should be pretty good, and we also have the Bomb Tower, because, I mean, we Ken is banned, Ken is definitely the best building in the game right now on defense, for sure, um, but I feel like Tesla's just very weak, even though it synergizes well with Expo, it's just not a very strong card at all, actually hoping to see that buffed in the next balance changes, but anyway, this is the deck I've come up with, so we'll see how it goes, um, honestly, not sure if it's going to be the best Expo deck for the tourney, but just going to get to five wins and see how it goes. Um, and let's get right into the matches, I guess. So hopefully we can get some pretty nice ones. And obviously, if I do find out, you know, there are some better decks or there are some changes that can be made, I'll try and substitute where I see fit so my opponent gives a good luck back. So starting out here, um, we do finally have a long weekend here uh, for Chinese New Year. So just really nice to actually have a break because it's been a pretty tiring week. Um, so that's honestly quite nice, just relaxing. And yeah, we do see a mini pack of mini... A Mega Minion, so he just lets the Expo go. I think this might be Golem. Um, it's also going to be weird because I'm not going to be really used to seeing a bunch of these decks. Uh, okay, I, he activates King. I'm really surprised. Uh, I think he was just trying to spell cycle, but I don't think that King activation was intentional unless he's actually just giving up already, which I really doubt it. Yeah, he goes Golem in the back, so I don't know why. I don't know how that's even possible to activate King off arrows like that. Maybe he's... I don't know. That was interesting, but just going to knight the back, and I think I want to set up for a full defense here. Okay, Night Witch is going to be a bit of a pain, but Fireball... I actually don't even know if Fireball Snowball kills Night Witch or not, uh, honestly, but Fire Spirit should be pretty solid at least at taking care of the bats. Going to go for one right here, and that actually cleans up a lot of bats very nicely. I can also go for a Snowball, and then he also just uses Arrow, so he shouldn't really be able to take care of my Dark Gob in any way. Go Zap, so I'm definitely going to have to Knight for the Mini P.E.K.K.A., and I think I'm just going to have to eat some damage. Oh wow, Mini P.E.K.K.A. actually locked on. That's really bad, but I think I can Expo because he should be very low on Elixir after that exchange. Okay, I go right into a Mega Min, which isn't great, but he should be at like zero Elixir after that, honestly, except for maybe a spell or something, so that's going to be a big lock. Snowball, I'm actually going to Fire Spirit Snowball. This might be a bit late, but we do get a small lock. Actually, that Snowball was pretty solid because we get even more of a connection, so I feel like that was definitely worth it. So he has Arrow Zap. I don't think he has a Lightning. Actually, yeah, Lightning is banned. It's going to take a while to get used to, I guess, but uh, this is interesting. So Golem. So Bomb Tower, I think, is significantly better against a Golem than Tesla would be because Tesla is just not very good. I'm going to predict him to go Golem in the back and go Dark Hop the Bridge. Yeah, he does, so he might not have a response right away. It does go Bomber, unfortunately. I was hoping we'd get some chip there, but yeah, might have to spell cycle him out over here, or at least uh, go in later on, because there's definitely no way I can go in while he's setting up golem pushes in the back. Gonna fireball the night witch. I actually don't think fireball snowball kills a night witch, so that's not great, but we'll see, I guess. I'm gonna dark goblin, and this is a bit bad, because now he can just go uh, arrows on my dark goblin. He actually misses, so that's really nice. Back to another knight to protect, and then I think I have to fireball that, actually. We got two fireballs down for the night witch. Oh, I actually missed the night witch. That's not the best. I think we're going to defend this just fine. I'm going to Fire Spirit for the bats. And Bomber, actually I should have committed to that Bomber. Uh, that was on me. But I think we should still be fine here to maybe Spell Cycle. I'll see. 
because uh, yeah he's getting into range of two fireballs and snowball does the same as a log i'm gonna bomb tower right here and i think i definitely can't afford to spell cycle just yet though i do have to defend so this is a bit tense but gonna knight for the night witch and then i can fire spirit if some bats spawn he does go arrows but bats don't spawn so that's totally fine and I have to defend this, but honestly, it's not looking that bad. He's not back to his uh, arrows. I believe he just used them. I think I do have to fireball, though, because I don't have any troops in hand right now. I have to snowball, too. This is actually getting really tight. Um, Dark Bob is going to force a response out, though. Forces the Skarmy. That's not bad. I think I'm just going to have to go for the spell cycle, honestly, because there's no one going to be able to just expo into a golem. He goes golem very aggressively. Um... Two fireballs? I don't think two fireballs and a snowball is enough. That's the issue right now. Uh, I'm going to Dark Elven on the Mega Minion first. want to try and take that out. Snowball all of that. He goes for the arrows. I'm going to have to try and get back to a bomb tower, I think, because I actually can't afford to take any death uh, damage from the Golemites right now on the tower. Um, and I'm actually... like I think I'm dragging this out longer than I need to, but I just want to be really safe. I should be fine now to get two fireballs and two snowballs, I think. He's going to have to respond to this. Actually goes for the golem. Actually, I'm going to snowball cycle, I guess. I have to get back to a bomb tower for the golem, so this is a bit tough, honestly. But uh, we're in triple now. I guess I'm just going to still defend, honestly. Because um, <laughs> I just don't want to risk anything. Like, I really don't. So, knight back, and then snowball on defense. I actually can't really take any of that death damage. And now I think I should just honestly go for the fireball cycle, because I've prolonged this long enough. I think I should just go for it. So, fireball, snowball, and then I'm one off a of fireball right now. So, I can just get it down. That was honestly way closer than it needed to be. That's going to be GG. I think, um, I don't know necessarily if snowball was really that great. I feel like log... Might have been better in the matchup, I don't know. Honestly though, it wasn't <laughs> too bad, I mean, we were able to get away with the win. I would not have liked to lose at zero wins, honestly speaking. But, into the next match against a Japanese player. Let's give him the good luck and see what's up here. So, starting plays, I guess, kind of just like... I'm going to leak a bit, just because I want to be a bit safe, but... I guess kind of like a log, you can just snowball first play. I'm honestly never really used to playing snowball in expo these days. You used to play uh, Pumpo with snowball a long time ago, but... Never recently. It's always log, so it's actually really interesting that log is banned, um, but not going to let it stop me from playing expo. So we do see the barbarrel plus bat, so this could be... Okay, Prince, I'm actually going to go for an expo, because I think this might be Mega Knight Wallbreakers. Um, we'll see, though. Oh, hog. Okay, I'm going to have to let the hog go, I think, because actually I can go knight on the hog, cycle back to my skeletons for the prince, and that should be fine. Yeah, expo stays alive a bit. He goes for the zap, so I think I have to fire spirit and even snowball. That was maybe not great, but uh, knight will get some chip at least, so... It's not too bad. Honestly, this is a very different deck for me, so definitely going to have to get used to things. But uh, yeah, I'm going to Dark Goblin for the Eye Drag. Dark Goblin is honestly pretty solid. I actually did not intend for it to not pull the Inferno Dragon, but that's still fine. Uh, Dark Goblin is a very solid card, actually. It's just kind of underrated, I feel like. And I think Archers are probably better in Expo. Um, I don't know, actually. It's interesting, because you can split Archers. That's a huge benefit of them, but Dark Goblin is also so great. The downside, though, is that they're both kind of weak to... Um, arrows of course because they both die so gonna bomb tower yeah he's gonna go hog thankfully i was worried if maybe he went hog in the left and then i wouldn't get the bomb tower down but it looks like it's fine i actually don't really have many great prince counters right now i think i do have to go dark goblin to be safe for the prince and hopefully bomb keeps the dark goblin alive no it does not so that was not very ideal but this is an interesting deck i think he might have a mega actually was mega knight banned i don't even remember actually uh, actually i don't think it was i feel like a lot of people would want it to be banned though and, yeah, this deck, honestly, one downside I can definitely see is that this deck doesn't have great air defense. Like, we only have a Dark Goblin, Fireball, Snowball. Okay, I actually, yeah, I, I really had a feeling he'd have a Mega Knight. There are a lot of Mega Knight Hog decks, but I'm just gonna go Skeletons to make the Knight stay alive. And then we should be fine. Um, so I, the main issue right now is the Prince as well. Prince is quite annoying in this deck because I don't have many counters to the Prince, and he actually sets up there. So I also can't really Expo that much, I feel like, because... Uh, I don't want him to be able to just defend it easily. I'd rather maybe get a counter push. So I'm going to go Expo right now, though, because he shouldn't be back to his Mega Knight. At least I hope not. And okay, I was right, actually. So we're going to Snowball the Hog plus the Bats. And then just Fireball the Inferno Dragon, because I think this lock is going to be everything. Okay, it survives on 1 HP. That's very unfortunate. We get a huge lock, so that's very clutch. Going to Fire Spirit 2 to pull the Prince plus Inferno in. And that's pretty solid. We haven't really taken any damage. Um, and you can't really pre-bomb tower, I mean, you can, like you would a pre-Tesla, but obviously, yeah, he, like, it, you can only commit to one lane, so that's one difference I've definitely noticed. So almost very nice against these bats, though, as you can see, so that's really cool. And I'm just gonna expo again, honestly, why not? 
This uses Bar Barrel 2, which is a big expo counter. It was Mega Knight Gun Knight for the Mega Knight. I think I actually placed it too far. That's unfortunate, but it's fine. Um, Dark Albin should do pretty good. And he actually doesn't really have any response to Dark Albin, so maybe I should protect it pretty well. And then, as you can see, she's being very annoying right now because he can't really kill it. I'm going to go for an expo as well with this Dark Albin, and he's going to be in a bit of trouble. He has to go Prince, and then I'm actually already back to another Dark Albin. Dark Albin just kind of ruining my opponent's day right now. That's going to be a Snowball as well, and this should probably be a lock, honestly, because, yeah, really nice stuff. So. A trick that I like to talk about a lot is the um, log trick to push something back. Okay, that's going to be GG. Where, you know, you have something on your expo, you log last second to get more value out of it, or kill something last second. You can actually do the same thing with a snowball. It's just a bit different, because you can't knock everything back. Um, especially, you know, heavier stuff like prints. I think that's the true value of log. Like, you can just knock everything back. It's really underrated. I mean, it makes sense why it was banned. I'm actually a bit... Worried if they do a log nerf for the next balance changes, because they might, but we'll see. Um, I'm just going to go bomb tower for the hog, so we're getting a fair amount of hog two in a row right now. Honestly, no clue what the meta for this global tourney is going to shape up to be. I was considering making a video of, you know, five best decks for this banned global tournament, but there's honestly no real meta to uh, draw experience from. Like, no one is really playing uh, yet, so I think the meta will shape up in a few days, but until then... Can't really make those predictions. Gonna go knight. Did not go knight in time, unfortunately. That's fine. Snowball's gonna be very clutch here, though. And uh, Mega Knight Hog, I guess two in a row. So I guess Mega Knight Hog should be fairly common. But as you can see, knight is a very good response to the Mega Knight. Valk is also not banned, and Valk is a very solid pick in this tourney, too. I feel like up to you guys if you have personal preference or not. You could go either Valk or uh, knight in an expo deck. This is just a version I'm trying out for now, though. You could also go with Rocket. I'm not sure what the meta is going to shape up to be, but if you do need the Rocket cycle, it's going to be very useful, of course, because I feel like, you know, the best Expo deck in the meta right now is obviously Expo Rocket. Um, Magic Archer going to Fireball ASAP, get more value out of my Dark Goblin, and just take it off the board. And we are going to get a lot of chip from the Dark Goblin, so pretty solid. Goes Hog again, I'm just going to Bomb Tower, and I don't even know if he goes Arrows. That's not really a great Arrows, I guess, because I guess it's a net even trade. Magic Archer... Uh, Arrows Hog against Dark Goblin Fireball Bomb Tower, but I mean, we got damage and he didn't, so it's fine. I'm gonna go Expo again because I actually d can knight for the Mega Knight in time this time. Um, so I'm gonna knight right now. Let it jump so that it pushes the knight back, and that way. Okay, never mind. That didn't work out at all, but I was. It's a weird timing and placement. You have to get it really right, but there's a really nice timing where. or placement where you can get the knight onto the. A Mega Knight, or rather you can have the Mega Knight onto the Knight while it's on your side of the map, so that actually helps because you can get the tower to take the Mega Knight out, and it's actually better than if it was at the bridge as you saw just now, so that's something, I don't really, like, I know exact expo placements, but not super exact sometimes, um, I guess, like, I'm usually just used to stuff, and I really hope I didn't miss the Magic Archer there, thankfully I didn't, gonna snowball the E-Wiz, and he actually lets the Dark Elven lock on, which is huge, gonna Knight and then Bomb Tower, preemptively for the hog maybe i'm not sure why the spectator keeps giving the goblin face palm but this should honestly be fine gonna snowball too and he's back to his uh oh he's he's he has his hog but i'm back to my bomb tower I, i'm kind of pre-cycling like you would a tesla sometimes so as you can see i feel like that was pretty valuable already back to a bomb tower and don't really have to worry about it so you know pre-bomb tower isn't too bad all the time gonna go expo right now because Ewa should get taken out by the bomb tower Ooh, goes mega at the back that's really bad i think that's probably going to be GG if this locks on, and it oh, just barely does, and I was hoping it would, that definitely would have been game, but uh, it's fine, going to have to let this go, actually I could maybe try and defend with Fireball Snowball, just a huge burst of damage coming in, okay he does defend it fine unfortunately, but I mean we're still looking pretty good in this game, it's pretty hard to get a lock against all this heavy duty Mega Knight stuff, but we're still doing fine, going to go for an expo again, actually goes Mega Knight the bridge, I guess he predicted my expo, or he literally just went Mega Knight the bridge. I'm going to have to fireball this though, honestly. Don't really want to, but I think I have to. I think that was actually a pretty bad expo then, honestly, and I'm in a bit of trouble here. I'm going to hit the Mega Knight all the way over to the other lane because I don't really want to deal with it, and then I guess I'll just eat the Magic Archer because I know I'm down Elixir. Yep. So notice if I went for a Bomb Tower or Dark Goblin there, or Knight or Dark Goblin rather, I might not have had enough for the Bomb Tower in time for the Hog, so I feel like that was just a pretty nice play. And yeah, he's going Mega Knight again, so I'm not going to Expo yet. Going to Knight Dark Goblin, and then I guess try and not Fireball this time, because that was a pretty big commitment. Um, but yeah, this is a bit painful to defend. We did defend it, though. And I guess I'm... 
Hmm, I guess I'm gonna take the Magic Archer out first and then go Expo. He's definitely not back to Mega Knight for a while, so this should be a pretty good opportunity, I think. Fire Spirit for the bats, and then I hope I can get a lock here. Snowball, and then Knight. I hope he's not back to Mega Knight, and... Okay, nice, he's not. So that should be GG. I don't think he's back to Ewas anytime soon. He does not have any resets in this deck, so I just have to protect this with everything, and that's gonna be GG, so... Honestly, a lot of Mega Knight. I think Valk might actually be better against Mega Knight than Knight, but I think I still want to play Knight, because Knight is a great card. So it's like... You know, as everyone says, good stats for the cost. But yeah, that's going to be another nice win. So two Mega Knight hugs in a row. I don't know if this is just a like lower GT. Wow, that guy had freeze. I don't think he used it the whole game, actually. But lots of Mega Knight uh, hog right now. And the first one was just Golem, which is actually like a real Golem deck. Um, so some decks aren't really hindered by these bans, but definitely a lot of the best decks in the meta. I feel like, you know, Phoenix is everywhere. Archer Queen is everywhere. Minor and Log, Cannon, all are everywhere. Even NATO, honestly. So I guess you don't really see much E-Giant in this GT either, because there's no Tornado, doesn't make as much sense, no Tornado or Lightning. But I honestly was expecting to face a fair amount of Log Bait and Recruits, we have still yet to see. Obviously the stats will be curated, and Royal API will probably have them uh, there, so I'll probably check that out later to see if the meta changes. But right now, uh, I'm doing okay with this deck, I actually got my Mastery there, so not bad. But let's go for two more, going for five wins right now, so... Found our next match against Arda Ahe. He has Graveyard on his banner, so it could be Graveyard. This should also do pretty well against Graveyard, honestly, because we do have the Dark Goblin. Although Log is very clutch against Graveyard, and sadly Log is banned, of course. Gonna Skeletons, this is the perfect placement you want to use so that the bandit gets pulled and then doesn't even walk to, uh, or doesn't even dash to the tower, just walks. So very nice. Dark Goblin in the back, and I actually have a really awkward cycle right now. I'm actually going to cycle a Snowball, just go back to my Knight. It's a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um... Looking like Bridge Spam, which should actually be a really good matchup for me, because I have Bomb Tower. Um, Ewiz, I guess I'm just going to Fireball, even though he might have a Magic Archer. Oh, I guess all of P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam isn't banned, which is actually really good for Expo as well, so not too bad. Um, okay, P.E.K.K.A. the Bridge, that is very aggressive, I guess. But And Minions too. Okay, this is actually going to be a bit annoying. Um, Fire Spirit does okay. And then I hope this Dark Goblin defends enough. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think I can Snowball. I mean, I could have Snowballed, but I would be very low on Elixir after that. So I think that was fine. But he has minions. Okay, that's really interesting to know. So Snowball, Fire Spirit will kill the minions. Um, Dark Goblin plus Snowball or Fire Spirit will kill the minions. So that's going to be how I'm going to deal with them. But I don't have to worry about any Magic Archer at the bridge, which is going to be very nice, you know. I'm going to Knight for the Bandit, though. And I can pretty much just cycle my Knights, because actually against Pekka Bridge Bam sometimes, you can't really go for your... Uh, Knight down low, or you can, but then they'll just go Magic Archer on it, so it's actually pretty nice to have that. Gonna snowball all of this, and this should honestly be a lock if I uh, did it right. Okay, I missed the e -whiz, so I absolutely did not do it right, but we still get a small lock at least, but man, if I didn't miss the e -whiz, that would have been an even bigger lock, so a bit unfortunate there. Also, I feel like Log is significantly better in this matchup than Snowball, because uh, you can just reset the Battle Ram, you can Log Cycle, where Snowball is, I guess, a bit harder to use, but should still be okay. And Fire Spirit should be useful. Ice Spirit's also very nice on defense, but Fire Spirit should be okay in terms of creating offensive pressure. Like, he, if he doesn't respond to that, that's... Yeah, you have to go Bandit for that, and that's like a full Fire uh, Ball damage worth. Okay, he goes for a Zap, predicting my Skeletons, that's actually why I went for a Knight. I'm gonna go in right now, not expecting to get a Lock necessarily, but I can maybe outcycle his P.E.K.K.A. I'm still going to try and get a lock, possibly. That's actually a fireball right there. And then I can go skeletons last second for the P.E.K.K.A. And I can actually... I'm probably expecting this to die, I guess. Okay, wow, I was not expecting the P.E.K.K.A. to die. As you can see, I was ready to let the Expo go, but I guess wasn't ready to go. But yeah, I didn't go Knight early enough. Going to go Expo opposite, though. He goes Bandit, so he should be very low on Elixir right now. At least I hope so. And I'm going to Snowball all of that. Should be okay. And then Fireball, actually, once the barbs come out, they should be a... Okay, lock. Yeah, we get a pretty nice fireball. And I think I don't want to go same lane, honestly. Expo is usually an opposite lane deck, so you have to be pretty comfortable to switch lanes, I feel like. Because, yeah, he goes P.E.K.K.A. Like, I don't want to just keep defending. Another way I could win is just defend the whole game, but I feel like I'd rather play aggressive. So I'm just going to Dark Alvin, opposite lane for the P.E.K.K.A. Knight to protect the Dark Alvin from the uh, Bandit, and then have to kite the P.E.K.K.A. upwards. Goes for a poison, so actually this is a bit scary. I think I have to go Bomb Tower 2. But then the bomb tower might actually get taken out, so that's a bit uh, scuffed. But we'll see. If he goes for the ram, I think I'm going to have to reset the charge with the snowball, probably. So I'm just going to get ready for that. He's actually back to a P.E.K.K.A., I think. Yeah, goes ram. I'm definitely going to have to reset with the snowball. And then I can maybe go Fire Spirit afterwards. Yeah, I can go Fire Spirit. That should do okay at countering. And I'm back to a second Dark Goblin, so these Dark Goblins are going to be a pain. If he goes Poison, I can actually Expo. He poisons the 
uh, left still. I thought he'd poison the right to hit both, but that's fine. This should be a pretty good expo now. I'm actually going to bomb tower the bridge, you know, like you would expo Tesla. It's not, like... It's not as good, I think, but it's I know, it's a play, and it does work out, I guess. He might E-Wiz to retarget, so I'm going to try and predict that and maybe get ready to defend this. But I, he honestly might have just given up, too, because that's a pretty big lock. So, yeah, that's going to be GG's. Really, really nice win against a pretty interesting... Uh, actually, not really interesting. That's pretty standard P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Pam, but yeah. I guess if you do see a lot of P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Pam in this GT, then Expo should be pretty solid because it always does very well against Packer Bridge Bam, of course, but yeah, that was a really nice win. Let's get one more and call it a video, so Founder Game against Cerebro PK. Pretty interesting banner uh, of cards there. We'll see if that's what he's playing. I think Snowball for his play is fine. Eagolem, I guess Eagolem could be in this GT2. We'll find out. Okay, goes Baby Dragon. Um, I guess I'm going to have to Dark Goblin in the back, and I guess Protect with skeletons, so this is a nice play you can make against a baby dragon with skeletons, if I did it correctly at least, where you split them. I think I actually messed up. Yeah, okay, I kind of messed up, but I'm going to fireball the wizard anyways, and then... Yeah, that's going to be a lot of dark goblin damage coming in, actually. So he has baby dragon wizard. Interesting so far. If he protects, I can snowball. Yeah, he does, so I'll just snowball. And then knight. Skeleton's nowhere in cycle, so I think I have to go knight. And I'm actually going to expo if the knight survives. Okay, it doesn't, so I'm going to chill. Because um, I feel like he was kind of low on elixir there. But, okay, goes dark Gal or goes goblin barrel. I'm actually going to dark goblin and then expo. This is maybe not the best idea, but he I feel like he's definitely low on elixir. Because, I mean, he's kind of just spamming right now, yeah. He didn't even have enough for a knight in time, or actually he did, then he just took a long time to play it, I guess, but that's a very nice connection, and I think I can just fire spirit, snowball, the baby dragon, actually pretty solid counter. Snowball is very nice against baby dragon, that's for sure. Okay, this is a bit interesting, I'm gonna have to snowball all of that, and then, I actually did the perfect snowball timing, nice, to reset the mini P.E.K.K.A.'s animation, so I guess you can play snowball like you would a log, you know, to reset the animation and get the most value out of it. Very, very nice stuff there. Very clean defense, and I think we're pretty much primed to win already. Because um, he's just so low on elixir. And he has a barrel, so I guess this is a form of log bait. Hopefully I can show off the fire spirit skeleton's trick at some point. Wizard again. Definitely not the best play on his end, because I can literally just fireball it again. Um, but I might just pre-bomb tower. I don't really feel like cycling anything else right now. I'm going to place it one tail inwards just in case. And let's see if he goes for a barrel. I can pull off the trick. Okay, Mega Knight. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull off the trick, Fire Spirit Skeletons for the barrel. Oh, he actually does a pretty good play going barrel in the front. That's a really nice anti-trick play, actually, so he did get it off pretty well played. But we still didn't take too much damage, only some stabs, and we're winning by quite a lot. So I'm just going to expo right now and maybe get some really good fireball value. Going to snowball all of that, and then uh, I'll actually get ready to fireball if he goes wizard right now. Skeletons protect, and let's see. I feel like he's going to go wizard right now. Yeah, he does. So I'm just going to fireball it and get the guaranteed connection, and that's going to be GG's. All I have to do is defend his barrels, but Fire Spirit will do pretty good. Actually goes barrel on the expo, wow, so that wasn't very optimal, but just gonna knight as well, and we're pretty much chilling. I mean, there's no way he can break through at this point, so yeah, pretty good stuff. I did not actually get to show off the Fire Spirit trick, but I'm sure you guys know, you know, if you go uh, Fire Spirit and then push it into the tower with the skeletons like that, you can actually full counter Goblin Barrel. That being said, though, my opponent actually, I guess he did know of the trick, so actually well played to him. Um, he played it in the front, so he actually kind of bypassed the trick, but that was still, you know, pretty well played uh, overall. But we got a really nice uh, set of defensive sequences in this game, and that was just honestly pretty well played. So he gets a well played. So yeah, I'll give him the good luck for the rest of his GT, and that's pretty much going to be it for the video. So really nice stuff. Really interesting so far. Like, the meta is definitely shaping up. Um, really interesting Expo Deck 2. I do definitely miss the log, though. Log is so important in Expo. So, I think, I mean, there's a reason why it was banned, right? It's basically carrying every single cycle deck right now. Uh, but yeah, we got five wins, and people are already doing... Wow, this guy is 15-0. and 0. I wonder what he's playing. Um, I'll take a look, I guess. I hope you guys don't mind. I just want to take a look at some of what uh, people are playing right now. Okay. Oh, Carl is still playing, ooh, pretty much classic Lava, except instead of Phoenix, he has the Flying Machine. That's interesting, for sure. I guess, yeah, it's pretty good for Lava. Actually, Bomb Tower's not going to be good against Lava at all. You'll definitely want to Tesla against that. But I do feel like Recruit should be kind of prevalent in this tourney. I mean, you have everything in the deck. You have Recruits. You have uh, the Flying Machine. You have the Cage. The Zappy is like, nothing was banned. So, I mean, Recruit should be very strong. And the Golden Knight. And Recruit's Golden Knight is one, like, one of the few Golden Knight decks that don't need a Tornado to work in. So, I'm honestly expecting to see that. Let's see what Lucas is playing, I guess. Because, I mean, Lucas, like, you know, top three player in the world right now so 
Oh, he's playing log bait. Yeah, like this is what I was expecting. You know, probably a lot of log bait. Uh, and his opponent's actually playing log bait himself. So, yeah, this is interesting for sure. Um, I feel like we will probably be facing a lot of log bait. And actually, if you guys do go against Fairman of log bait, Rocket might be a better bet than the Fireball. Uh, but at the same time, Fire Spirit Skellies. That's the reason I put Fire Spirit Skellies in, just because I want to have the coverage against log bait. Um, but honestly, I guess. You guys can see what works for you if you want to experiment with Expo or any other uh, type of deck. Royal APO, again, will probably be updating with the best decks for the tourney in a while, but for now it's very much uh, different, and I guess exciting to see a change. I guess a, a change is welcome, you know. Pretty nice stuff there, but yeah. Pretty happy with the video overall. I've honestly had a pretty long week, but uh, weekend is nice, and I'm excited to make more videos on the weekend, I guess. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Five... Pretty nice wins, honestly. First game was way too close for comfort, but otherwise we did pretty well overall. A lot of, you know, Mega Knight Hog so far, two out of five games. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.